welcome to the National Foreign Language Resource Center at the University of Hawaii. You are in the first of five modules on the topic of project-based language learning, or PBLL. As you complete the modules, you will develop a blueprint for using PBLL in your own instructional context, no matter what language you teach, what level you teach, or how old your students are. Let's get started. In Lesson 1, let's explore what project-based learning, or PBL, is and what elements are used in the design of PBL. Finally, let's identify what features make a PBL design rigorous, or what we might call real PBL. Let's start with an example of a well-designed project in a language classroom. Students from High Tech High in Chula Vista, California, worked collaboratively to manage and execute a community celebration of the Mexican Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos. Students in this large-scale project covering several grades helped organize a public celebration, created public artworks, including traditional style altars, presented dramatic narratives, and performed other activities using Spanish and English. The teachers who designed the Dia de los Dia de los Muertos project were relying on a body of literature that has identified eight essential features of PBL. They are 1. Significant content. At its core, the project is focused on teaching students important knowledge and skills derived from standards and key concepts at the heart of academic subjects. Celebration of the Mexican Day of the Dead is of strong cultural and personal significance for people of Mexican heritage and offers people from every culture opportunities for reflection on the significance of those who have passed on before us. From another angle, development of Spanish language skills in connection with this project draws significance from national standards for world language learning, such as the World Readiness Standards from the American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages. 2. A need to know. Students see the need to gain knowledge, understand concepts, and apply skills in order to answer the driving question and create project products, beginning with an entry event that generates interest and curiosity. An entry event designed by the teachers for the Dia de los Muertos project motivated the students by helping them realize that there was more to the Day of the Dead than they might have realized, and that once students explored and learned about it, they could be the bearers of this knowledge to the larger community. The students' acceptance of this role sustained their motivation through the entire project. 3. A driving question. Project work is focused by an open-ended question that students understand and find intriguing, which captures their task or frames their exploration. The question for the Dia de los Muertos project is, how can students develop authentic projects that provide cultural opportunities for the larger community? 4. Student voice and choice. Students are allowed to make some choices about the products to be created, how they work, and how they use their time, guided by the teacher and depending on age level and PBL experience. In the Dia de los Muertos project, at various stages, students applied to participate in various committees and for their certain roles and responsibilities within those groups. Teachers were committed to providing multiple possibilities for students to choose from, this way, students can look back and feel they're truly responsible for their own achievements. 5. 21st Century Competencies In PBL, these are defined as problem-solving, critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity or innovation. And these are explicitly taught and assessed. 6. In-depth inquiry Students are engaged in an extended, rigorous process of asking questions, using resources, and developing answers. In contrast to merely learning facts about Dia de los Muertos, the students' project took them on a personal journey into the meaning of the holiday and imparted many various skills needed for them to inquire in depth, for example, practice conducting interviews. 7. Critique and Revision the project includes processes for students to give and receive feedback on the quality of their work, leading them to make revisions or conduct further inquiry. The PBL model includes frequent assessment. Some of it is by the teacher, some by peers, and some is self-assessment. For example, one procedure called the Critical Friends Protocol allows people to get feedback from a group without feeling on the spot. 
8, a public audience. Students present their work to other people beyond their classmates and teacher. The Dia de los Muertos project is an outstanding example of a project with a wide-reaching public audience, giving students from High Tech High broad exposure for the products they created as part of this project. Approximately 800 people attended the entirely student-organized celebration in a park in Chula Vista, and this included spoken word performances, children's carnival, face painting, a gallery of artwork based on traditional sayings, painting candy skulls, storytelling in English and Spanish with dress-up, and there may have been more that I don't know about. So those are the eight essential features of PBL as defined in the relevant literature. Of course, there are many details involved in laying out a full-on project, including what proportion of your curriculum is going to be dedicated to the project and the various ways that you'll support the students in designing and assessing the pieces of the project. But in order for a project to conform to the norms of PBL, it has to be more than something students do as a semester project or in the traditional sense, it has to have all eight of the features that we described in this lesson. How exactly this fits into your language curriculum is a question that will require a lot of thinking on your part. In line with that need, we have designed a template for a project blueprint that will serve as your planning site for a project that you will carry out, perhaps in this coming academic year. You can find details on how to access the Project Blueprint template in the More to Consider section below. Aloha.